Student and Strong students and staff and happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, March 11th at this time, if you would please stand and join us for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Let us remain standing for the Zonton Pledge. I am Zonton Strong. I'm strong in character, community and academics. Be part of the pack. All right, guys, just a reminder of some of these dates. March 22nd, both A and B groups will return to school on that Monday and will be in school for four days. Also, April 5th through the 9th is spring break. April 12th is still a bullet day at this point. I think it will actually stay that way. And April 20th, just put it on your radar, will be picture day for all students. Also, don't forget next week is Spirit Week for the entire building, and we will also be doing our house reveal for our seventh and eighth grade students. So on Monday is Scrabble Day, Tuesday, Wacky Tacky Day, Wednesday, Luck of the Irish Day, Thursday is Bingo, and Friday is Inside Out or Backwards Day. So let's talk a little bit about Monday with Scrabble Day. There it is. There is the point value of all of the different Scrabble letters. Remember, you need to choose one letter. You can just write it on a piece of paper, tape it to the front. You can make a shirt. You can have a piece of card stock with it on there. Whatever it is that you need to do, uh, we recommend kind of planning out some possible words and trying to come up with the highest point value. Uh, and then points, house points will end up being awarded. Could be some other prizes involved as well. And our book of the day is Children of Exile by Margaret Peterson Haddix. For 12 years, Rosie and her brother Bobo and the other children of their town have been raised by the Freds, adults who say that living with their biological parents is too dangerous for the kids. But why? Now, with no explanation, people called the enforcers are sending the kids back to their parents and into a nightmare of poverty, inequality, and severe, unexplained bias against their bright green eyes. Then they find help from a missionary and discover their true purpose. Interested in that book? Check it out using the Mac and Via app or contact Miss Boyd with any questions or other requests. On this day in history, back in 1876, the first discernible speech is transmitted over a telephone system when inventor Alexander Graham Bell, no relation, summons his assistant in another room by saying, Mr. Watson, come here, I want you. Bell had received a comprehensive telephone patent just three days before. In 1930, President Howard Taft becomes the first U.S. president to be buried in the National Cemetery in Arlington, Virginia. That is just a magical, beautiful place. And in 1969, Levi Strauss starts to sell the bell-bottomed jeans. On the second Thursday in March, so today, March 11th, it is World Kidney Day. Um, I actually have a good friend who was just diagnosed with kidney cancer. So this one is hitting a little closer to home today. Uh, so please make sure to do some research, know your body systems, and know how to best take care of all of your crucial organs. Our joke of the day, what's Irish and stays out all night? Patio furniture. <laughs> yeah, that one didn't really deserve the full volume of laughter. I would agree. All right, guys, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Have a thrilling Thursday.